good morning. Um, another quick one here on uh, bass lines. Um, I did a boogie bass line a little while back. This bass line is um, what they call a box shuffle, descending, um, because you can play it ascending as well. Don't worry about that. Um, it's called a box shuffle because when a guitar or bass player is playing on their instrument, the fingering builds a little box. Um, guitar players are often always on about box shapes that they uh, use on the keyboard. On the keyboard, on the fretboard. Um, anyway, uh, we're just going to play the root, octave, flat seventh, fifth for each chord in the blues progression. So you're going to have to have um, a little bit of bending under control here on the three draw, um, which is uh, two draw, six blow, five draw, four draw, except we're going to swing it. So two on each. Some nice slaps in there to get a bit of um, a bit of girth in what you're playing. This is the four chord. And the five chord. Oof, that bending was a bit ropey there. Um, I'm recording this right after I recorded the last lesson where I was talking about your bending ability uh, decreasing uh, as you spend time not playing the harmonica and that. That's about there. Uh, it's close. Anyway, um, that's it. Um, like I said, I'm not going to, like I did last time, I mean, I'm not going to uh, tab this out completely. Um, up there somewhere is the tab. Um, for each chord and have at it and have fun with it hopefully okay so the jam track I've got here has the bass line that we're playing already so we're just pretty much matching the bass it does wander a little bit um, and plays little turnarounds and things but I'm just going to ignore that and just stick with the tab and uh, I will link to the jam track obviously it's in G, we're playing second position, so I've got a C harmonica, and let's play this bass line. That's all there is to it. Um, it's really fun playing these bass lines. Um, it really reinforces the structure of the blues and the chord changes. And it's fantastic for accompaniment. It's something that you can reach for if you're ever stuck. Um, if you just mimic what the bass player is doing, you're, you're gonna do okay, pretty much. All right, see you next time.